Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Uh, apologies, it's been a little bit of time since I've done a video. But, well, I'm not going to apologise actually because I've been on holiday. Um, we're all going to have a holiday. So, been away in Lanzarote for a week with the family. Uh, so I haven't done a video for a little while. So I thought I would do one uh, around PC power units. Uh, come across quite a lot of PC towers uh, and obviously a lot of things you get out of PC towers you get nice big motherboards you get hard drives, you get disk drives and you also get power units Okay, so as you can see power units have massive bundle of wire most of that wire if you strip it back it is silver in colour, so it's either aluminium wire or it's tin coated copper. Uh, I just stick all that kind of stuff in my wire pile and uh, just keep it as insulated wire. I don't actually strip this stuff back. Uh, if you do and you find that you find you you've stripped it back before and you find copper, let me know. Uh, I tend not to. Uh, I've got a couple of power units here. As you can see, both of them are in really good nick. They don't like look like they've been used much. Uh, but when I look at the wires of them, uh, some of the wires have been cut, uh, so they're not, you know, good for either donating to to charity or selling them on or whatever that you know you you look to do with your scrap items. Personally, what I try to do is when I get items to scrap, I do look to try and fix them. If I can fix them, I then pass them on to charity shops. Uh, if I can't fix them, I just scrap them out, scrap the components out. Okay, so that's kind of what I try and do. Bit of a kind of community service there, a little bit. So with this one, as I say, it does have wires that have been cut. So I don't think now it's of any use uh, in terms of passing it on as you can see cut wires okay so we're going to scrap this one out and we're going to show you what's inside so they're obviously steel outer plate okay you can see there is a plug socket in there that is uh, little brass prongs in there there's a switch we keep all our switches a little bit separate and once we've got enough of them, we scrap out uh, the internals of the switches. Uh, the internals actually are usually brass and they have silver connectors. Uh, so, we're scrapping out. Okay. Fans themselves, as with all electronic fans, there is a copper motor within that fan. Uh, the bigger the fan, the bigger the motor. Uh, so again worth scrapping out your fans I do again just kind of save up all the fans when I've got enough of them I'll scrap out the copper motors inside them okay so as I say we're not going to do anything with this wire other than just kind of keep it as an insulated wire to do that you do need to cut off the plugs so you do want to cut off your plugs before you take that to your local scrap yard scrap yard will not accept it with plugs on it uh, Certainly not in the UK. I don't know what it's like in America. If they do accept it, uh, maybe give you less price for it. But yeah, we send them clean wire. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just take this apart. We'll undo the screws, and we'll have a look inside. Uh, there is obviously a board inside here. Uh, so we'll see if that board's got anything. If it's got any. Uh, aluminium or copper heat sinks if it has any kind of transformer and really just have a look at the the quality of the board and see see what's there okay because as i say i'm sure you'll come across plenty of these so yeah i think they're probably quite expensive to buy so you know if you do find ones that are working in good condition then donate them sell them pass them on whatever yeah as with anything when you're scrapping, I've said this in a lot of videos before, 
you know, if it's worth, it's always worth more in terms of selling, passing on, whatever it may be, than it is to scrap it out. Okay, so just bear that in mind. I see this one looks like it's in fantastic condition, but it's not savable because of the the cut wires. Okay, so we're going to scrap it out. So let's take the screws out. Not a lot of screws in these things. It should only really be okay, four main ones here. And then there's a couple of smaller ones as well. You always see ones under these little kind of stickers. Usually that means if you take the sticker off and you undo the screw, it breaks your warranty. And that's fine because we don't have this one under warranty. So <laughs> we're good to take it apart. Okay, so there's our first piece of metal, just steel, a little outer plate. And these things for me as well, it start always, well, when well, I started off scrapping, it was always about a community service. Uh, I actually started scrapping items out during lockdown in the UK. And I'm sure you had a kind of lockdown period in the US or wherever you might be. Uh, when COVID hit, uh, people were not able to get out and about, do the kind of normal stuff that they normally do. Uh, one day I actually went to our local uh, dump uh, just to get rid of some excess items some stuff that had been sitting around the shed uh, and just wanted to basically have a bit of a general clear out now when I got to that dump there was a queue so long it was unbelievable yeah and that was Really lots and lots of people sitting in a queue for about two hours to, to throw stuff out. Yeah, stuff that couldn't be collected with your normal refuge collection. Uh, refuse collection, sorry. Not refuge. Uh, so there's our fan. We'll put the fan at the side at the moment. Uh, we're not going to scrap that out on this video. But as I say, there is a copper motor in here. So don't just think that's plastic. There is a couple more, okay? I'll put that to the side. We're not going to scrap it in this video. But a couple more. So yeah. Massive queue. I was getting rid of some, I think it was wood, whatever it might be. Just some scraps from the shed. But I could see actually that a lot of people are getting rid of things like TVs, old scanners, printers, whatever it might be. Uh... And what I did at the time, because uh, I couldn't go into work, I was off. Uh, also at the time, my wife was pregnant with my little daughter. Uh, and I was available and around. And, you know, there was a lot of people that was finding times hard. Didn't want to leave the house. Uh, not, not allowed to leave the house half the time. Uh, and I just wanted to, you know, let people know that I was available and if they wanted to take stuff to the dump, you know, I was on hand and I could help out. So that's what I did. I posted a little post on Facebook and said, you know, if you're getting rid of stuff to the dump, electronic stuff, I'll be happy to help out. I've got a big car, got a lot of space. Uh, my car at the time was a Mazda 6 uh, and the Mazda 6 has a huge boot I mean a huge boot you put the seats down and you could fit a, foot, you could fit a football team in there it's, it's huge so people started saying yeah that's great thank you very much for the, the service uh, and you know they were 
putting stuff on the doorstep, I'd go around, pick it up, and I'd take it to the dump. Uh, after a little bit of time, I thought to myself, well, why am I just dumping all this stuff, you know? Uh, I don't know what happens to it. Once it gets dumped, I'm sure it all gets recycled and all the rest of it. It's obviously going to the city dump. Uh, I say the city dump, it's, it's more of a recycling centre. So they do recycle wood, electronics, metal. Uh, they're not great on plastics, uh, especially, you know, hard plastics. Uh, so not fantastic there. But I thought, you know, why am I just giving all this stuff away? So maybe I can repurpose it, maybe I can fix it, maybe I can pass it on. So that's what I started doing. I started fixing stuff, started repurposing stuff. Uh, you know, there was stuff I could repurpose myself and use in, uh, for, my, for myself. Uh, and other stuff, obviously, I could pass on uh, to charity shops, help people out and... Uh, you know, repurpose and reuse, and that was what I kind of tried to do. That's now turned more into uh, a bit of a mission to keep electronics, metal, scrap stuff out of landfill uh, and make sure that things are reused and repurposed accordingly. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, where it all started, and I've now been doing that since the start of COVID, so, you know, in uh, at least a couple of years now, so... That's that's uh, the backstory to to why I scrap, and again, you know, just trying to do my little bit. Uh, if we all do our little bit, then the world will be a much better place. So, please do your little bit. Make sure you recycle, and uh, don't just throw stuff in the bin. Yeah, think about what you're doing before you do it. So, tops off. As I say in Glasgow, taps off. Uh, we can see we've got a bit of a power board there, okay? So I'm going to try and separate it now just from this metal back plate. Uh, which may appear to be easier than what it is. We've got a little board here that seems to be uh, soldered. So I'm just going to snip the solder. That should allow us to free the plug unit. And as I said before, those little prongs in there are all brass. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. I'm not going to scrap that out again at the moment. I'll stick that with my plugs. We'll scrap it out later. Okay. I've actually got a bag full of plugs. Now, I've seen some of your guys' videos in the US where you have a little bit of a plug soup. And you fill up some uh, water in a pan, stick it on uh, the gas and literally heat up and uh, soften the rubber on the plugs. Uh, I think it's a lot easier to do on the US plugs, not so easy to do on the UK plugs. Uh, but I may give it a try, see what I can do, see if it's a, at least get some of the uh, prongs out, I think maybe the the top prong of the three may be easier to get out if I do that. So, give it a try. See what we can do. Okay, so, next thing we're trying to get out here is the switch. There we go. There's a the switch out. Okay. Little switch. Uh, again, usually the internals on there, the prongs at the bottom are brass and there's a silver contact. Okay, silver contacts are good. Okay, so the last thing to get this off the back plate is just a piece of pla like a plastic o ring that's keeping it in here. So Maybe a bit of brute force to get this out. I'm not sure. Let's have a, have a bit of a look AC. Well, I actually didn't need any force. Okay, so there's our metal plate. We will reduce and stick that in our metal bin. 
these as well our board and our wire okay so the first thing we'll do is we'll separate our wire and that means snippity snip lots of wires to snip here Anytime you're sniffing wires, obviously try and snip them as close as you can to either the board or whatever they're connected to. You know, the more wire you have, the more you have to scrap out. So, just be aware of that. I do find as well with things like uh, power leads and things like that again you can leave a little bit on the edge uh, I'm trying to see what I mean here you got anything like this yeah power leads when you're cutting the power lead you don't have to cut this bit off okay there is still wire inside this piece and scrap yards will take it like that yeah as long as you've got the plug off the end of it, be that a plastic plug, your standard power plug, whatever kind of plug, so, you know, these are plugs as well. Yeah, as long as you cut them off, you know, our standard UK plugs, okay, as long as they're off, you can add that little bit on, okay, and, yeah, it adds a little bit of weight. Okay, so it's worth doing if you're scrapping your wire as insulated wire like that and you're not you're just not stripping it, then leave that little bit on. Okay, it's a little bit of advice there. So here's our wire. Again, I'll take the plugs off later. I'm not gonna video me cutting these little plugs off and stick it in my wire pile. You know, waste of time. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, so we'll just stick that to the side at the moment. Uh, clean up the board a little bit so again snip off the other bits of wire so first part of the little board so a couple of small capacitors and a little copper coil round a ferrite circle circle so yeah circle we should have a better word for it than a circle uh little ferrite ring something like that yeah uh i'm actually going to do a video uh in the not too distant future about copper components that sit on boards boards like this boards like this okay because there are lots there are lots of different copper components that sit on these boards uh, a lot of people just sell the boards as they are, uh, and I think you're missing out. Yeah, so I will do a video on the copper components because, as you can see on this one, we've got one, two, three, four transformers. Okay, they are all transformers. They've all got copper in them. Okay, we've got one little copper ring here. One here, one here. Okay, again, nice quality copper. Yeah, it's good stuff. Again, we want to scrap them out. We want to keep that copper. We want to do the copper separate because it's worth more money. Okay, so, you know, you scrap that out as it is, you'll get very little money. But you hoard the copper, you build that up, you get as much as possible. There's money to be made. Okay. There are other little tiny components. You can see that little blue one in there. Looks like a capacitor. It's not a capacitor. Okay. That one actually has a little copper coil in it as well. Okay. A very tiny one. But you do get bigger versions of that. Okay. There are ones in there. You can see here. These transistors. Okay. The backing of them. 
a copper, okay? Metal plate on the back of it, it's copper. Okay, so again, it's copper all over these boards. You just need to be aware of what it is, where it is, how to harvest it, okay? And again, here we have lovely aluminium heat sinks. Okay, again, on their own, not going to weigh too much, but you got a couple of hundred boards, there's a bit of aluminium there, yeah? So, just be aware of that. Don't just throw these boards out. Don't just sell them as boards. Scrap off the good stuff, yeah? And then, you know, do what you will with the rest of it. For me, I'm into micro scrapping. I do take stuff down to the smaller elements, uh, likes of your IC chips, you see here. This is a power board, so it's not got that much. Uh, but there are components to be had on that. You know, your capacitors here, some of them contain silver. Uh, what else have we got on this board? Not a lot. you got your little fuse here. If you're unaware with fuses, fuse ends, these metal ends on fuses are usually silver plate. So there is silver within fuses. Again, you collect a lot of them. Uh, if you're scrapping out a lot of electronics, they all have plugs on the end of them. All those plugs have fuses. They've all got silver uh, plating. Some of them actually have gold plating. Uh, very few that I've seen, but there are gold plated ones as well. Okay, so that again, not a lot. Obviously, you're going to get out of one of these uh, power units for PCs. But there is a nice little board inside there. There's a bit of copper to be had here. There's a bit of aluminium, uh, obviously your copper motor here, uh, your steel, like you saw already. Uh, so there's a little bit there, yeah? A little switch as well, obviously, we covered off the switch. So there's a little bit to be had. So, again, I don't know if you what you guys do, if you uh, just stick them in the scrap pile, or if you scrap them out. A uh, good bit of wire there, uh, and of course if you've got a few of these, that wire weight adds up pretty quickly as well. So that was just a quick video guys, just on power units for PC towers. Hope you enjoyed that one, if you did, please hit that like button. Uh, hit the share button, share it to your, communi your communities, uh, let them know about Scrap in Scotland. Yeah. Uh, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, I'd love to see you back on another video. Thanks for watching this one. You've been watching the Scottish Scrapper on Scrapping Scotland. See you next time. Bye now.